Hey and what's up guys and welcome to another video here from the Green Aqua Gallery. My name is Yuris and usually this would be the pro tip series but this video however is not a pro tip. Actually this is something I discovered by observation by having a closer look on the Green Aqua display aquariums and what I discovered I'm gonna show you today with you. So by having a very close look on the aquariums, I've been filming B-roll for some of my other videos, um, I discovered that some of the plants, let's take Rotala species green as an example, look completely different in one aquarium compared to another aquarium. So my first idea was that it must be due to, I don't know, different light, different water parameters, different fertilizer, something. But then I realized all of the aquariums here at the Green Aqua Gallery, or those two that I'm comparing, they both are running under the ADA Solar RGB light, two units on both aquariums. Both have the same water parameters, both are fertilized with the same fertilizer, so basically have very identical stats. So how it can be that the plants look different? And then I remember the tank with the one type of Rotala species green has been escaped by Felipe Oliveira. And Felipe Oliveira is working for Aquaflora. So for sure Felipe has been using Aquaflora variety of the Rotala species green. The tank next to it, I don't know which uh, variety of Rotala species green has been used there. I'm assuming Tropica, Danele or the home brand uh, of Green Aqua. Let's call it variety number two. Uh, and I'm not judging here, I'm just describing what I have uh, observed. So the one variety of Rotala species green in Philippe's tank is more, I don't know, more sharp, has much thinner leaves. The other variety has more round kind of type of leaves. So that's interesting. Okay, I said. So let's observe further. Can I discover more um, varieties of same species of plants? And yes, I was able to discover uh, one more plant with the, this kind of variation and it was Hygrophila panadifida. So one Hygrophila panadifida is slightly kind of wrinkled on the outside, more greenish, while the other one is more flat and a little bit more reddish. So the color is maybe not a really good indicator because the color is really due to condition of the plant, the nutrients, light intensity. Let's don't focus too much on the color. And then I went to the shelf with the tissue culture plants right behind me and I discovered two pots of tissue culture Hygrophila panadifida, one from Aquaflora, one from Tropica and they were looking exactly like the plants in those different aquariums, mainly showing the same difference. So again here, we have Hygrophila panadifida, variety Aquaflora and variety Tropica. And sometimes with some plants you can even observe different varieties of the same species of plant even from the same brand. This is because uh, sometimes uh, the nurseries they source in the material from different laboratories, from different nurseries and even in their own stock and in their own growing facilities they sometimes have different varieties uh, so you can discover slightly different leaf shape and growth pattern. So yeah, it was a little bit of a different video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, maybe it was interesting for you and you can uh, start observing your own plants if you can discover different varieties of the same plant species. Uh, I would love to know if you have observed something similar, so write me down below in the comments. Also let me know how you like this type of video. Not really a pro tip here, but just hopefully some available information for you. So show me with a thumbs up or a thumbs down uh, any of those uh, I would highly appreciate and guys if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe share them with your friends and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!